Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I am Zia Tiftara. Today I am going to show you a video tutorial of a digital painting. So basically in the beginning I'll just use a line and shape and start a basic shape and form and rendering in monochrome. Then I'll start applying color. Um, in here uh, I'm starting off with the kind of light gray. I think that's about 80% not 50. Uh, that's going to be the part that I'm going to paint on here. So um, the key to this is simple. Uh, since I don't have to design, um, then it's make it a lot simpler. All I have to think about is light and shadow and form. Uh, basically, you, you have to first, okay, this uh, before we start anything. First is shape. Shape is basically uh, when you draw something and you have the outline of everything, that's a shape. So silhouette and shape is the you filling in the solid color or solid value on your drawing as the outline. So first come shape and then form, that's the next step. And then after form, it will be uh, form include lighting, light and shadow, that's basically creating form. And then after that is material. So in this uh, tutorial, we're just gonna focus on these three things mainly. There'll be a bunch of detail, detail come after all these. So you have uh, shape, form, material, and then detail on top of it. So let's get started. So let's see here. So I have like um, kind of like a rectangular shape. And I'm just gonna make the background first. I'm just gonna make the background kind of green, 72% uh, green, light, and then desaturate. And I'm going to uh, the darker, make another normal layer. I'm gonna make the top slight. Ooh, that's pretty dark. Okay, let's just make it really dark. Why not? And and maybe I'm picking some texture brush to erase it out, part of it, just to create some interesting light and dark. But do not make it too busy. If you see, uh, the only busy part is the transition in between light and dark. But the light and dark is pretty simple. There's nothing there. I'm just playing with the brush at, the, at this point. Because I have, I kind of want to play with the brush a little bit. Just got some new brushes, uh, light and dark, basically there. Okay, uh, and that should be enough. Just adding a bunch of texture, but is don't make it too busy. If the background is too busy, then um, your form will show up weird. Keep it simple. So it's basically just two value, uh, the kind of mid and the dark. Change the light to mid. So there, I'm just going to erase some of them out. Alright, so fun enough with the background. I'm just going to go to the top layer and create a darker value, 33% gray and 100% opacity. I'm just going to create a silhouette so I can see the silhouette. Uh, so basically the shape, I decided to make it darker because that's like way too light and uh, slightly lighter. Put in the shape for the armor over there. Not sure what he looks like. At some point, I'm probably gonna have to look him up, but I know that he's huge. Um, and Overwatch is pretty cool. Uh, I kind of like it. So, um, just simple shape, simple head, uh, body, and like huge shoulder and arm. So, right now, I'm just focusing on shape, like we mentioned earlier. Silhouette is basically the beginning of everything. It's the foundation of whatever you're going to paint. Once you have shape, then I'm going to start to establishing form. And there's only two values in here that are pretty close together, but it's still a shape. Like just a little bit lighter here and the darker there, but it's basically still the same, like the one whole silhouette. Now I'm starting to maybe Correct the silhouette a little bit on the back of the neck, adding some hand there. Now we're gonna start to establishing form, which is I'm using another layer on top, which I'm just gonna make the lighter value on top of the silhouette. And since she has like this kind of chrome look, I'm gonna have to use a really light value to get the light onto this silhouette. 
and I'm just going to use different texture brushes experimenting and if you want to know which brush I use I switch brush a lot so uh, on this one I just kind of playing around with the brushes so you're gonna have to pause and look at the brush but really the key is is basically whatever brush that is on the top four line you can use any of those because all these brush uh, I are, are utility brush you can use them for transition and um, kind of painting uh, making transition between light and dark uh, I use them a lot so it's not a specific purpose so you have my brush that you download with this tutorial you can use any of them for but then if I want something uh, more accurate then I'll go back to default uh, flat brush or default round I usually use flat more because I can make a pointy end so so now I'm establishing light and shadow to the light over on the light side and then now I'm just going to establish the, the form on the helmet a little bit and I use really dark value so I'm trying to get the form and I use a super contrast right off the bat because um, because of his nature he has like his whole design is a lot of chrome so I didn't want to go like midway I just kind of go more contrast and then we just gonna kind of tie everything in and you can see some brush doesn't work and I'll be like nope not that brush and then I'm gonna use another brush instead <laughs> just playing around and now I'm trying to create that uh, big shoulder pad and his big uh, tube on the chest or something and I think that's as far as I go and in the end we kind of change the design a little bit because I can't remember what he really looked like but for the most part I got it almost right so now you start to see the form and it's basically just three value the real light dark and mid and this one is a little more complicated than my other tutorial and if you purchase this by accident uh, go get uh, some of the character design tutorial that I made uh, you understand what I'm doing a little more because uh, this one is a little more on top of intermediate even though it's said intermediate uh, because advanced is another level so so now I'm trying to uh, create the overall form but then separating the big piece of the armor at the same time what I mean by big piece is like the shoulder pad, the collar, the helmet, the um, the chest plate, and the gauntlet, and the upper arm. So those are all big pieces. I'm not concerning about the detail yet. Right now I'm concerning about the form and the light and the shadow. And also it has to be uh, sort of perspectively correct or uh, you know uh, probably try my best even though it's a short amount of time and you notice uh, that the lightest part or the the part that has the most concentration of light is uh, around this area so that's a default light so the lights coming from top front a little bit from the right side of the screen and that's gonna where it's gonna get down. the lightest highlight and as it goes down it's gonna get kind of a uh, little less light it's gonna go into like light to mid tone instead of super bright and try to get the metal plate on and if you notice uh, all these metal plate here are kind of like in the mid-tone rather than in the light lightest part as in this area so they're darker that's darker even though it looks kind of light trying to fix the head shape a little bit because I think uh, it has like the collar around the back that armor collar that go around the back so I'm not sure but I know that his helmet is pretty small and trying to figure out the value that facing down there
So now I kind of have the form, so I can go in and now I have to uh, in uh, well correct the form a little bit more and make the visor look a little better and refine the form slightly. Just trying to correct all the form together on the silhouette. So now we have like the big form, so all this uh, sketchy stuff. If you look at this navigator, it's looked at the whole body with the lighting. So now I'm just going to have to refine the in-between. Not concerning about the smaller detail yet, I'm just trying to, you know, put the big form together. And the best way to do that is zoom out, and you can see if the form need more lighting. To So now I'm trying to apply the material. and. Uh, it's going to be chrome, so I'm going to use dodge because I merge everything down. Already, uh, it's on the same layer of that character, right? So I'm going to use dodge and see if I can make the sort of like a chrome material lighter. So on that part, just dodge it. So you get uh, and dodge. It's not good for anything. Well, it's best for metal. Basically, anything metallic is good, but on any other stuff, uh, you have to be careful because otherwise it's going to look dodgy. Um, so now I'm just dodging the highlight and if you notice the most concentration part of the highlight is the area that I was mentioning earlier so now we have so now the form become a little more rounded so I just make a copy just in case I screwed up then I'm just going to go on and paint this and redefine all these plane using the existing value that's there trying to re refine the shape basically So now I'm trying to figure out the lighting with the shape there, um, and that's include the material. So I also want the material to to kind of apply uh, over on top of the form because the form kind of there already. It's not that refined, but um, this is like a really quick uh, painting. So I just want to get everything uh, done right off the bat. And the antenna was some kind of uh, so it has one side on that facing the right side and the the two side that facing down and you have to have a solid uh, value. And if you notice what I'm doing over here, just I'm just moving the value around. And when you move the existing value around, it refining the form that um, that's there, right? So uh, basically, you don't need any new value. I have all the value I need in there. All I need to do is just to pick the value and put it on the right spot, reshaping the certain value and bring some darker, slightly darker in, so you can, the highlight will show up more. So basically, this phrase, I'm just trying to refine the helmet a little bit more. And as an overall shape, there's no detail yet. Uh, I'm just trying to get the helmet to look round, and the front will look flat. And all it is is just a bunch of geometry shape. And uh, you have to be, you have to know how to render geometry, and then you're gonna be able to render pretty much everything. And now I'm just uh, rendering the lower part here. And at this point, I'm using pretty much a default brush. If you notice, I've been using default brush for the last um, five minutes because I just want uh, to get the shape right. And once I get the shape right, then I'll go and use a texture brush again to kind of apply the texture to enhance the material a little bit more. trying to bring that metal plate up to the back of the neck but I don't think that works because the light is too light in the back of the neck I'm 
Basically, is painting is solving the problem of light and shadow. So now the shape of the helmet is kind of there, not quite, but uh, I get the idea of what it should be. So now I'm just going to uh, make the shape of the front part, or the, tors the torso. So this part is kind of like a round because they have some glowing on the front of him that are round. It's kind of like tracer, but not. It's kind of longer. So on the under it, it will be darker. On the side angle to the right, it will be super light, like the highlight there. And then on the top top it will be slightly lighter so we have like three values here one two three and then four the fourth value is right in the front so you have to like all these geometry form and now I'm just gonna refine the value break that out from the front making the shape looks good and make transition between shapes and I apply the color onto the other side and then the other side of the shoulder pad pretty roughly trying to refine this shape in the front a little bit more and you can see the value uh, of the one uh, the face that of the geometry face that are facing down are the same uh, whatever direction they're facing is going to be the same uh, similar value And this is in real time, so it uh, didn't speed up at all. So if you kind of want to know which brush I'm picking, then you might have to pause. So now I'm finding a texture brush that would add a nice texture between the transition of light and dark and make it look uh, metallic so this is a nice brush it look flat but it's like poly on row 4 and then I go back to the default like when I'm trying to get the correct shape I'll go back to the default brush and get the correct shape here uh, we dictate the shape and then if I want to enhance the material or enhance the texture then I will using a texture brush and material and texture are different things material def depends on the light uh, so depends some material has uh, absorbed the light more so those are going to have less um, highlight or not too glossy or not too shiny those are like fabric and rock tree and you have metal uh, then metal is gonna it doesn't absorb the light so it bounces the light back and that's why it's super uh, highly have a high level of shininess that's a word for it but uh, I can't think of it I use it every day uh, but anyways so yeah so I'm using texture brush again after I get the shape right and this one is just gonna be pretty scribbly but you know when I try to get the shape I use default brush and when I try to get the uh, sort of like a little more texture that would help with the transition in between the value then I will use texture brush now I'm trying to make a lion face or something I think it's a lion um, in the end I change it a little bit because I don't really know what he looked like I just know the roughly and on the top part of the lion mane we'll have the light and then on the bottom part will be it's facing up so it's going to have lighter value and then whatever part that is facing down is going to have less value so you see like I separate the two uh, lighter and darker value in the beginning so now I know which one is facing up and down and down below going to have a darker one here
Alright, so on the head and the shoulder and slightly little bit of the arm and chest, we got the form. So now I'm using Dodge to kind of bring out some of the light on the other part. So now we have like a kind of nice form going on. Now we're just going to go in and uh, the other side, I'm just going to add a little bit of lighting as suggest, like very suggestive. Um, so we're not going to render much on that side. We're just going to suggest it and then we're going to focus on the focal point and the one that are facing front a little bit more. But I still have to put the correct value on the other side. So now I have the big form kind of uh, set. I can now I can go in and focus on a little tiny uh, shape and make the shape more accurate and maybe add a little more detail on it. So I cut the head out and make the head sit up a little higher. And now I'm just gonna paint the head a little bit more, uh, make it kind of tiny smaller to make uh, like when you want some something to look big, you gotta make the head smaller and then the body is going to be gigantic and you want to make something look small you're going to have a big head you notice like the giant and the dwarf uh, dwarf will have like huge head and the giant will have like a really small head so that's a uh, you're playing with the scale so now I'm just cleaning up the body bringing the collar in a little bit and making the other collar about the same it has to look at the perspective that should be a slightly darker in the back collar I think I'm trying to add some light and see if it would work bring the light up a bit nope that doesn't work <laughs> so alright gonna make this collar slightly bigger move the light around a little bit uh, lower the color because that's gonna even make it more confusing uh, bring it back up alright so this is uh, I kinda run into trouble on this one but if I move the light around then I'll probably figure it out okay move the head in okay that looks better and then reduce that back okay I think I'm gonna stay with this so sometimes when you move, stop around, that's what I'm doing here, just kind of move the value around, um, bring the light onto the highlight and the light onto the right spot, or oh, basically you, if you place the value in the right place, everything will be fine. And then you can add detail on top of that once you have like all the big forms set. Alright, now I can break down the armor a little bit, like basically making section and clean up the shape. A little bit of bounce light, but eh, that might be too much. Try to keep it. The bounce side has to be less than the highlight. <clears throat> and what I mean by less is like darker value. And keep cleaning it up over here. All right, so now we have like the whole form. I'm just gonna merge everything down and make a copy just in case I screwed up. 
Now we're just gonna add more detail onto these. Uh, I think I'm gonna change the face since I don't remember what he actually looked like. But I know I'm close. Pretty much. Just flatten his face for now. Make it a plane. It's easy to read. Um, you know, I was trying to make a skull shape or something. No idea. But um, correcting the shape of the face a bit more. Alright, at this point, I'm just making up things. So if it doesn't look like Reinhardt, sorry. Just making stuff up on top of his shape. So at this point, once I have all the shape set up, then I'm going to make another layer on top of... Uh, not yet. Uh, just need to correct this shape a little bit more. Uh, once I have all the shape set out, then I'm just going to start adding... Uh, detail inside the big shape. Um, probably you'll see it later on, but at this point I'm still fixing the shape on the front. I want to see what it looks like. Then now, uh, once I have all the big shape, I'll add the detail. So now I'm adding like a small detail on top of the shape using the existing value, basically. So add a little plate and maybe some wire or some Yeah no I think he has some wire or some hydraulics and a bunch of stuff inside it. So now I'm just randomly adding stuff. And separating the shape even more. Yeah, so at this point, that's when you add the detail. Once once you have all the form kind of pretty close to final, then you start adding a bit more smaller pieces on top of the big pieces. And then you have to maintain the light. So I just add like smaller pieces on top of big piece. This is not like the smallest piece. And then once you have the smaller piece, then you can add the smallest piece on top of the smaller piece. So you go from big to mid too small and too smaller. And I just add random shape that I think it might look good on this uh, big silhouette, <laughs> basically. It's kind of like design on the go, so but using the existing value that you have in there. And if you notice, if you notice, I add a circular shape and I repeated that shape. Uh, that's like three times: the one in the chest, shoulder, on the legs or on the thighs or the hips or whatever and then I add the vertical shape and that vertical shape slit came from uh, the helmet that I just add on to the bottom of his helmet so so that it, it's a uh, have a continuous uh, repeated shape design some texture so the darker part will look like metal also 
make it lighter on the highlight spot or the most uh, the part that will hit the highlight so see if the highlights here it will follow all the way down here because this is cylinder shape right so the light will come all the way around here same so from highlight here to highlight here and the lightest part of this dark metal will be here so everything is about geometry so if you want to know how to render well you have to render geometry well uh, set up your geometry go by your geometry shape or something then you know how to render really well um, you have no problem with coming up with uh, light and shadow on your own um, then you can depends on your reference forever right so geometry once you know them you can use them forever it's gonna it looks pretty boring and to be honest a lot of people don't value it enough uh, and everything in here is a geometry form it's like you have like a, a sphere shape mixed with the circular shape and on the helmet you have like a, a sphere on the back and then a cylinders on the front sort of thing so basically all of these are geometry shape a basic geometry shape that you mix them all up you bashing them and you know, kind of you know how to render those like I said so everything is pretty logical just like mathematic and then the top edge is the light coming on top top edge top edge right and then this light follow on the same line right so here light 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 here light 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 here on the same line And now I'm trying to figure the lighting on this, uh, on his forearm, or the lion head here. So this is gonna be pretty rough, and yeah, we're gonna have the darker part and the lighter part. And his hands pretty big. And again, highlights stay constant in the same spot. Like you think of this whole arm as a cylinder, right? Light coming in here, see, coming through this. Um, a little bit to the left of the mid section same as the body here oh what I'm saying is uh, if you think of this whole arm as a cylinder piece the light will come through on the same direction like it's in the mid of the cylinder a little bit off to the left right so highlight here same as in the body so now I'm trying to design a new face uh, but by putting a bunch of Vice a hole in there but it doesn't look good so then I changed my mind and have to redesign it this look doesn't look as good as I thought it was gonna look get rid of the whole thing and what am I doing here just cut the face I uh, merge them back down oh I cut the face from the previous uh, one that I make a backup right and then I just paste it on so I don't have to repaint it then I'm just gonna make the horizontal line viso instead uh, it looks better as fit I 
guess I'm just gonna keep it this way. All right. So now we're just going to add tiny little detail all around it, like little holes, some wiring, some tiny little highlight, and make sure you control the value on the area that you're painting in. And the design is probably not the same as the original Leonard. Um, I just made it up as I go. But the form is basically pretty much the same, I think, um, as far as I remember. But the rest of the detail is not. So, yeah. Yep, smaller detail, adding some line that might help with the contour and tiny little uh, detail inside, some wiring, some pipe, small stuff. But using, if you notice, I just picked a ex existing value around the area and I just kind of use that and add detail and change the shape around it and that's basically it. And at this point, it's probably going away from the original character. Adding some value and detail, just a small detail. As you see, I'll pick the value right around it and add more detail in there. But uh, control the value, basically, um, and geometry shape. And don't be scared to use 100% opacity because that's what I use most of the time if I know exactly where the value I'm putting in. And the best way to figure that out is also do master study. You know, look at look up John Singer Sargent or Anders Zorn, um, and then just look at his painting and do a copy of his painting because these are basically 
the stroke and everything um, we a lot of concept artists study that and um, they basically mimic his stroke his uh, stroke or his way of painting just using a very bold uh, stroke and also you can look up Craig Mullins uh, goodbrush.com then you find a lot of uh, if it looks similar is because uh, they those guys inspired me a lot so yep it's basically a, a ripoff of the style not really but <laughs> yeah no but yeah I learned a lot from those people so those guys are like the grandmaster basically all right so now we have almost all the detail I'm trying to the lion head look like Voltron basically on his forearm so I know exactly what this look like because it's Voltron I seen that since I was a kid I couldn't figure out the, his face so yeah there's str uh, struggling there now it looks like a dog <laughs> uh, sorry about that all right uh, we are pretty close yeah so basically all the necessary shape um, form and materials are there um, and then the next step it just we just need to add a little bit of detail maybe some color and maybe some light I mean glowing light uh, or the light that came from the robot so now I'm just using a texture brush to kind of create some suggestive detail on the other side which I'm not gonna go into detail because I'm not gonna render this to the full it just can be a quick character sketch basically with a bunch of brush stroke and now I'm using texture brush to adding a little more so okay we're just gonna stop here and then in the next part we are going to add a little bit more color okay so now in this part we have form I mean first shape then we have form and we have hint of material that they are metal and then the next step you can add detail so a lot of people have a difficult time transitioning from drawing to painting is because uh, you're trying to put the de uh, detail uh, too soon sorry uh, kind of got a little bit something stuck on my throat so yeah don't try to put your detail too soon uh, try to get the shape form and then the detail after because in here there's not a lot of detail at all um, like if you see the progress from the beginning to to this point you see that I focus basically on the big shape first and scale them down to like the uh, middle shape like you know head shoulder and chest and each part and then I scale them down again and then I scale them down again and until you get all the pieces together then you can slowly add the detail so all right let's get started now we're just gonna add some color in here uh, maybe the color that help contour line you know adding some contour line to the pipe to the wire or something anything that help convey the shape inside and it has to follow like if it's lighter on here and darker there so you have to have a darker orange there or lower opacity so I use a eraser to erase to make a orange a little lower opacity on the bottom yeah it's just gonna be the same routine just watch out for the value and make the if it's going to the shadow it has to be darker if it's in the lighter part it has to be lighter part so I'm just gonna use the orange and kinda of decorating the detail around the body And this is on a separate layer, so eraser would be a good tool to help uh, reducing the opacity and make it look like it's fed into the shadow. And then I apply some green. And all this color doesn't have to be that, you know, visible. It just has to kind of stick there to make some different.
and most importantly if it helps the contour line and it help convey the form that would even be better or it would help like if it helped breaking a section of which part of the armor then that would also be help anything that helped the design to break up the the form or part of the armor And now if you see me making a folder called glow I make another layer on top of it I inside it and we're just gonna create this glow uh, all around this uh, front of the chest here and we're just gonna create the glow uh, wherever that there's supposed to be some glowing part maybe on the visor and some part around the arm so we just I'm trying to uh, this desk uh, put the destination onto this glow that it uh, in the proper place and then we can animate it afterwards And on this uh, layer, just going to be the glow section, just the light that glow from the body. And you notice my cursor will go a lot slower when I'm trying to make a precision on the line. And usually you see it go a lot faster because uh, all I care about is shape. When you're making a line in Photoshop, it's a lot harder than drawing, so you kind of get slower. So I make another copy, copy of the glow, just basically the copy of the original. And then I just use color dodge, same color, and paint over the line that exists there and it will have the same line glow the highlight will be on the same kind of area and then highlight glow there using saw brush basically paint on top of it there we go so now you have the glow and there's supposed to be some uh, reflection off of the object also but right now we're just gonna paint the glow on the light itself so now you have a little bit of glow Maybe a little good circular shape glow on the ear. Right, I think we got all the glow we need. Oh, I forgot on the other side of the hips. Using saw brush and make it glow, glow a little bit 
further just so it bounce off the uh, of the metal around it all right guys thank you for watching and if you like to be if you like the video please uh, click like and subscribe um, you find more useful video as i will upload more video this year